Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is also rolling out a new Windows 11 Insider Preview build to the Canary Channel Insiders. And the build for this week is build 25977. So just to have a quick look, if you would be interested as to what um, Microsoft is calling hot off the presses, new features, and um, the Canary Channel, as many of you may know, is your entry point into the Windows 11 Insider program. So what's new? in build 25977. Well, Microsoft are improving accessibility with Bluetooth LE audio. And just to mention this first uh, new feature, uh, in build 25977, in accessibility, they are adding support for hearing aids using Bluetooth LE, which stands for low energy audio. And Microsoft mentions that this support is coming to devices that support Bluetooth LE and is basically their first step in adding support for more hearing aids such as controlling audio presets directly within Windows settings. So I think that's a nice accessibility feature in build 25977 for this week. Then moving on to the next, uh, we are also getting Windows location improvements which uh, in the Canary channel can be accessed from the settings, privacy and security location page as we can see in the screenshot provided where Microsoft mentioned they are adding new controls to help manage which apps have access to the list of Wi-Fi networks around you which could be used to determine your location and if we head to the next uh, to simplify this process of sharing your location with trusted apps they've also added a new prompt that will appear the first time an app attempts to access your location or Wi-Fi information and this prompt will enable location services and allow the app to access your location, as we can see from the screenshot provided. Now, just to uh, mention the next um, uh, new feature, um, it's SMB over Quick, spelled Q-U-R-C, Client Access Control. And this is mainly affecting administrators, but it is a new feature, so I'm just going to mention it quickly. Um, SMB over Quick now supports additional access control options for clients. This improves the existing SMB over Quick feature, which Microsoft says introduced an alternative to the TCP network transport, um, providing secure, reliable connectivity to edge file servers over trusted networks like the internet. So that's mainly a under the hood feature rolling out for administrators. Now, um, there are a couple of changes and improvements. That's the new features. Now, just to focus um, on some of the changes and improvements, uh, Microsoft does say that um, if you are doing a clean install now uh, with build 25977, starting with this build, mail and calendar will no longer be installed after doing a clean install. So just take note of that. And then another little tweak and adjustment that's basically now rolling out to Windows 11 as a whole is the Xbox Game Bar will now show as just Game Bar. And that's across the board really with all the different uh, builds of uh, Windows 11. And then the uh, next change and improvement is the network icon uh, in the system tray. Now animates when a connection is in progress and this animation replaces the disconnected globe when a network is taking time to establish internet. And I actually think that's a nice little small but significant adjustment. And then if we just head to our settings and we head over to our network and internet and our Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi properties. Uh, under the Wi-Fi properties now, they also show a QR code. So you can more easily, Microsoft says, share it with others. And they've also said that they um, show a QR code when you set up a mobile hotspot to share your network connection. So that's a bit of an Android feature that's working its way now uh, into the Wi-Fi properties. Uh, being able to show a QR code to set up um, a mobile hotspot to share your network connection. And then over and above that, um, there are one, two, three, three fixes for known issues. And then we also get three new known issues because obviously your Canary channel um, is your first point of call. So it is expected that you would see a couple of known issues in this early preview build. But nonetheless, that's more or less what's new and improved in build 25977, which Microsoft rolled out to the Canary Channel Insiders on the 18th of October. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.